Do you know anything about this? No. I said I was going to read it. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Tonight, we're going to tell you about some new Blue Run. I you I don't care. I'm so excited. You guys be excited too. We'll see you in a minute. Dan's excited. We've got Blue Run Kentucky Straight Flight Series Bourbon Whiskey Three Barrel Blend. I'm not prepared. Profile is Marrakech Market. You know what that is? A market. As a man of culture, I'm talking about me. I know exactly what that is. Okay. It's a market in North Africa. In Marrakesh. Oh, well, it's in Morocco, but. In Marrakesh. It's, yeah. in, it's in Morocco. 110.3 uh, proof. Uh, did I Google that? Oh, did you? No. Oh, yeah. I you knew did. that off no, the top of my head. No, oh, that's. <laughs> so. What are you doing? As everybody on the channel knows, no. and if you're new to the channel, you might not know, I'm a Blue Run fanboy. All of these Blue Runs, except maybe one of them, I have purchased out of game. pocket. Yeah. One of, now, that being said, this was full transparency sent to us by Blue Run because this is launching like now-ish, like right Should now in the now future. So there's, this is the flight series. There's gonna be several different flights as they so call. The Basically the purpose of these is that they're micro batch blends. So they're small. They're three barrels or five barrels or something like that instead of 20 to 50 barrels. Now, right. I, now here's the thing. We, we do speak transparency a lot. Yep. I'm, we're gonna be hyper transparent right now about this bottle of whiskey. Okay. So we have a whole fact sheet these are all the facts of the whiskey from Blue Run, literally. You want a rapid fire couple at me? Three barrel blend. Yep, already said that. Thank 106 you. bottles, if anybody's wondering the yield. That is low. Cases. Okay. Check. I'm good at reading. Jim Rutledge distilled them. Okay. Shaylin Gammon blended these. I believe this is her first go around blending for Blue Run. Okay. That was the person that uh, used to work at Wild Turkey, if you remember. Oh, okay. That worked on Russell's 13. They, this, did, they did talk about her getting poached. This is her. So, no, no. Um, 750 mil, obviously. The proof varies by every flight. So, th if you get one of these, okay. the, the Mary the Flight Series 1. Marrakech Market, if you get one of those, it'll be the same. If you get a different flight, it'll be different. Okay. Uh, mash bill, 65 corn, 30 rye, 5 malted barley. Save you some time from Googling that. Okay. That's a high rye. You high rye. Yeast strain, 927. Like, this is how transparent we're being. Alligator char, number four. You also have to go to Firm Solutions and ask what yeast 927 is. Yes. They'll tell you. They will. They but know. But I don't know. <laughs> they do know. Um, number of barrels, at least two. This is across the whole flight series. Okay. Every flight series is at least two, no more than five. Okay. So everyone is very, very... They're micro bad. It's kind of cool because yeah. they did the um, single barrel thing during Christmas. Yeah. Was it last year or whatever? Yes. This is like that just ramped up a little yeah, bit. a couple of these you got. And yeah, and it shows off like the blending skills, which 100%. is super cool. Which so. is what we call is the, the next big thing. I, yeah, if it, if it and people don't have to believe us, but for us it is, so. Man, it's, it's okay, I'll come back to it. I'm actually really shocked that you like this. It smells... Fan freak. Fantastic. It does have a lot of cherry yes, in it. Yes, it does. It's so very sweet. I, yeah, it's a little boutique-y. It's yep. got that dustiness. Like, it feels almost willet-y yep. at first oh, for me. Oh, okay. I wouldn't go it, that far. It's boutique-y. Okay. It's like a weird um, happy place between makers and willet for me. So I get a good oh, amount of Oh, I wouldn't floral, guess that this is a weeder. And I get the, the boutique about it. It doesn't have the funk for me. Yeah, I didn't pour this very much. It I, doesn't, it, I have not taken one drink and there's like no whiskey in there. It, didn't, it doesn't have enough funk for me to call it a weeder on the nose. Oh, okay. I do agree that it's sweet though. It is. I'll it agree. smells very it. sugary. Like a nice uh, sugar coated orange oh, all of a sudden I get. This is... Okay. Now, I'm. I, if this was distilled by Jim Rutledge, then it can't be super old whiskey. No. It can't no. be. No. Because oh. Jim Rutledge has been distilling for Blue Run for like four or five or six years. Realistically, the oldest this could be a six if it's not sourced. So if this is like five-ish years realistically, then there's zero youth notes on the nose for me. I've had a Russell single barrel today. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was 110 proof. Sure. That feels spicy. Oh, you had it today? Yeah, like a little before coming so here. So I've had a that 113 feels spicy. Today, I think. Tastes good. Gosh dang. Uh, sorry, I didn't say anything for a solid like 20 seconds. <sighs> Maraschino thing. cherries, drizzled in caramel. Cherry. I get a little citrus. I get orange in there as well. I, I'm, I'll follow you down the citrus path, the yellow brick citrus road. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I still get the I, dustiness in there. So like that's not going away. It's the that's what I call the boutique -y aspect about it. There's a little Let me smell your potpourri note on this. there for me. And it's definitely very floral, but it's cherry dominated. Okay. So I know why you like it. I agree with that. I don't get the funk from a wheat. Like when we have makers 
mm-hmm. more especially will it it's like whoa there's something there that's mm-hmm. different definitely different i could 100 percent believe that's a weeder though this reminds... like there's just that that warming bite i think it's the rye mm-hmm. honestly okay this is a like high rye obviously 30 percent and it definitely dances hot. Like, I think that's more than 115 proof, if I'm being honest. Now that I've got I think up, it is a little spicier. It, it is spicy. It's I got like it. a lot going on. Okay. I'm going to give the most professional, we real need brand in here. tasting notes. So we can blind him on this. He can call it like 20 bucks, and then we can move on. No, I think Brandon, I think... What any, is the price tag on this? I didn't I did know. $120. Okay. That's the thing. So now, this is, as we've, we've spoke about this several times, the... Blue Run's not the value whiskey of the year. It's not. You and I it agree on that. Is. It will never I think be. realistically, market and community also agree on that. That's <sighs> one of people's issues with it. Two off. Nine. You got bottle double zero nine. Oh, Could have had double wow. seven. Bond. James Bond. He would enjoy this. Daniel Craig's James Bond would definitely drink this. Sean Connery would too. Okay, here's what I will say. If 120 is not cheap. 120 is not cheap. I, so a lot of people's complaints is like a lot of these are around the five year mark and a lot of them age wise and a lot of them are on the hundred dollar mark price wise. When we go to Kentucky, when I see them, I usually buy one or two depending on the release. The high ride bourbons we've been finding in Kentucky for 80 bucks. Yeah. The last two I've purchased have been 80 bucks. Yeah. Um, now that being said, if this were 80, now I get that this is like a limited series thing and it's mm-hmm. micro batch and it's like a new mm-hmm. person blending it. I actually... Was, I wonder if Jim Rutledge was blending before. Everyone's going to complain because we always talk about price in our reviews. Yeah. But except for when we bring price up in a bottle like this, and then everyone, oh, thank you for telling us about value. Yeah. Be consistent. Uh, here's what I, I think that we need to start separating things. Are you, there's different types of whiskey people. Are yeah. you a value hunter? That's the thing. Yeah. Right? If you're a value hunter, in my personal opinion, stick by legacy distilleries. 100%. Right? Yeah. Are you um, not a value hunter? You just want new experiences? Stick to store picks. If yeah, you want new experiences. You're never going to be able to be like if you can find Buffalo Trace, which is popping up more around oh, us again. Shit. But for $24 or whatever it is, yeah. you can. it's going to be so hard to find anything that beats it in flavor for price per yes. ounce. If you yeah, want value, there's just, there's ways of, there are value, and, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with buying Old Forester 1920 100 times or Eagle Rare 55 times. We still or do. Whatever. But that being said, if you want new experiences, I think store picks are it. Now, if you just want to, for me, part of this journey, even though I do actually really like it a lot, annoyingly for most people, um, I like it so much, but what I'm looking forward to so much is Blue Run's future. Because mm-hmm. Blue Run's future, I think, is super bright. Yeah, if they won't you... always have five-year discs to work with if they keep going. I mean, everything looks good for them. You start getting older stuff, which I'm... you can get some some crazy cool stuff going on. And I'm happy. At, if I'm happy at five right now. Yeah. Jim Rutledge has absolutely knocked out of the park I... something that seems like it'd be pretty difficult because <clears throat> he went to Castle and Key, uses Castle and Key still. Obviously, I don't know if Jim Rutledge came up with this mash bill, but that's okay. a very different mash bill than a yep. lot of people. Yes, it is. But it's not just like, hey, I just uh, use this mash bill somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe it did. Did you use that for I have roses? no idea. For a five-year product, I do believe it is very expensive. So you're talking, what, uh, $25 a year? You're on the higher end of things. On the higher end, 100%. Definitely on the higher end of things. But True. I don't think, if this would blind it to me, I could tell you that this is a five-year-old product. Yeah, I wouldn't guess five. Like, I think I guess probably seven to eight range. Yeah, six to I eight, agree. seven to eight, six to somewhere eight. in that range. Six to eight feels right, which, I mean, you're not far off when you say five, but yeah. there's a big difference even considering eight being in there. What's your grade going to be? Oh, I didn't even give real tasting notes. Buddy, we're... That's my bad. Can I do a angle quick... one, angle two, angle three? Look at every camera and tell you Dan just realized he hasn't given a single taste. Uh, no, note, I gave like two. No, I gave two. An actual fifteen minutes. Two's not shooting. bad. Okay, let me do a quick rip of tasting notes. I'll get into value, okay. and I'll get not value price. Okay. okay, you do you. Quick rip, quick cut. Here you go. Cherry marshmallows on the nose. You said boutique and tiki. I get what you're saying because it's a lot of cherry. I feel like it the is. cherry is more of like the heavy front end yeah. of the nose. But I think there's something going on that's a little bit more like depth adding on the front end of that just sweetness. Cocktail um, syrup, like the syrup out of like a fruit cocktail jar. I'd like to revisit caramel. I agree. Uh, and I'd like spices, baking spices for 500. It's uh, so it's, I feel like that's more of a back end flavor. I completely like I get agree. a little bit on the finish and it's a little muted in the mid palate and it's not like super pronounced. And I think that is an age thing for it. 
That's um, probably fair. Here's what I'll what I'd like to give it though. Viscosity is mm -hmm, perfect. Mm -hmm. Viscosity is great, not thin. Proof's I don't good. Like thin whiskey, and Proof it's not drying at the end either. I like those things a lot about it. That all being said, it is expensive. Yes. Is this the greatest hundred and twenty dollar bottle ever? No. No. It's not. If you like Blue Run and you want to support them, this is actually my favorite Blue Run release since the Bartons from the 13 oh. and 14 year old Barton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I is like my favorite the one they've ever done, except those okay. two. I The rephrasing would be, this is my favorite Blue Run product that Jim Rutledge ever distilled. Okay, um, I'm gonna go B minus. Okay. I think it's really good. Because of the price you're saying. The price really pushes it down yeah. for me. If, the, if sure. this was an $80 bottle, I think it's an A for me, like a flat A. It's interesting, it has proof, it's, it's blended well. Bars. You're right though. Okay, we just had a sidebar and realized if this was 80, how insane it would be. Yeah, it, Sean it was be, just naming bottles. It would be it would so be, many things. It was a lot of them. It's not Okay, Ed, so MSRP is 120. Yes. So, um, and Booker's is like six years. Right? With, oh Booker's is literally six years old. So mm. this is within a year. It's $100. Yeah. Which we, we talk crap about. Booker's, Booker's is so. shit though. Yeah. Like I enjoy drinking this. I would this. rather, drink I would rather pay 20 more and buy. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here's the thing. Man, because the longer it sits here, the more syrup I get. To be fair, we do take price into consideration whether you guys like it or not. We have to. We do that. Because everyone has to buy things. We're still consumers. And to be fair, I would, I'm would. i gonna go a solid B. Really? Solely because of price. Okay. I think at 80, this is an A. I do uh, agree with you on that. I'm gonna look at that camera right here. I'm gonna punch on yeah, in and say, right I in. cannot believe Dan didn't give this an A minus. Okay, I can't just because, if this were 80, I, here's the thing. Well, I just wanted to be in your shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> These, these three, these two, one of these two, yeah. I found for eighty dollars in Kentucky. Yeah, okay. If this was in that bottle, I, this isn't even remotely close. Oh. Everybody be like, "You're a shill," because I'd say A plus. Yeah. It's forty dollars more. So what's that? Thirty percent more or whatever? How does math work? Well, I fifty percent more. No, it's forty dollars more, which is a third of the price. Forty is okay, a so third, 80, not fifty. Eighty. Yeah. Is the price of those? But this is one hundred twenty. Yep. Right. So if you take half of eighty, yeah. it'd be forty and add it to 80, that's 120, so it's 50% more. See, I learned something, I tell you, I do this all, it's just a normal thing. So anyways, Golly. now that we know how fractions work, I will say, I did say, this is my favorite Jim Rutledge distillate for Blue Run ever, Yeah. period. And what I will also say is these are gonna be dropping in stores and online. Uh, I actually don't think in the, the scape of whiskey right now that anyone that pays 120 is gonna feel super ripped off with this product. No, I would buy one for 120 right now. Yeah. And we uh, have this open one. The only thing we're literally hating on is the price tag. I don't even There's hate nothing it. Nothing else, you know. I'm here to accept the fact that Blue Rum's a premium brand. Yeah, but I'd still be happier if it was 100, you know? Yeah, I'd be like, happier if gas was free. It's yeah, not, I get that. So, you know, I can always argue is. that I think things should cost a little bit less. That's sure. fine. Sean can, argues that quite often, eh, if you're yeah. wondering. Yep. Oh, si significantly more less often than you'd think. <laughs> um, but uh, I will, so there's going to be different flights. Mm -hmm. I will be... Online, the day that they like, I give this a B, just good, just because of the value aspect. Because I know people are gonna be, oh, it's so expensive. I will be in line on the internet, refreshing my web page when the rest of these come out to try to get all of them. All right. I will at 120. I, so, like I said, the only thing I hate on is the price. I think everything else about it's good. I think Blue Run's future is very bright. <sighs> Should get some sunglasses. That's a Crystalia joke. Thank you, Blue Run, for sending us this bottle. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm done. Love I'm it. good. You do you, buddy. While the, uh, wow, third pour, huh? Well, the, the, you got name, the do name's got to roll. What are you going to talk about? Yeah, you got something to do today? Cheers like, to all the patrons on the screen right now. Hey, here's a look inside behind the, the, the fourth wall. It's Sunday. This comes out tomorrow. We didn't realize on the calendar day. Are you afraid of pouring the I just didn't know how much you want. You I just complained here, about buddy. the fact that you had to edit. So I didn't want to, Got you me know, a DD here. I want to murk I'm going to be shit. drinking while editing. Right, that's fine. Yeah. No, listen. You're acting like... I like that color, too. Oh, ben has done that. Good. Dude, the butterfly's great. Now, White. people... Brandon was like, it's the same. It's That's an Oreo, right? Yeah. And you can't see it. There's names. This is platinum. That's platinum. Yeah. Where's there Maybe no names? Silver. Right here. There's no names right there. I nailed that. It's platinum.